The philosophy of security by design requires practical methodologies. At Kaspersky, we are developing such a methodology called cyber immunity. It combines global best practices with our 25 years of experience in cybersecurity to create secure by design products. But how can we ensure that this approach is truly effective? To find out, we conducted an experiment. We took two IoT gateways. One that is secure by design, built according to the cyber immune methodology, and a standard gateway that lacks this property. We connected both gateways to an industrial infrastructure and simulated a cyber attack. In this video, I'll show you what happened. The industrial infrastructure in the experiment consists of a programmable logic controller, PLC, and a factory model controlled by it. This setup represents a typical digital solution. Data from the PLC is collected directly into the enterprise IT infrastructure, allowing management to monitor the status and performance of equipment in real time on a dedicated dashboard. Both gateways have the same vulnerability in a third-party component that transfers data to the corporate network. So, what might an attack scenario look like? Based on our researches of attacks on industrial infrastructure, we selected a popular scenario. Here's how it can happen. Before attacking gateways, a hacker does some groundwork finds a vulnerability in a gateway component and gains access to the corporate network via Wi-Fi using a laptop, tablet or smartphone. Next, the hacker attacks the Linux gateway by sending a specially crafted command that exploits a vulnerability in the component responsible for data transmission to the corporate network. As a result, malicious code is executed within this component, attempting to accept another component, the network VFS, and send a request to the PLC to stop current operations and remove restrictions on parameter values. Let's see what happens when we run this scenario. This is the laptop of the potential attacker. Assuming it's already connected to the corporate network, we enter the command that attempts to exploit the gateway vulnerability. The outcome Operation of the PLC and the entire factory stop, and production parameters on the dashboards like temperature and pressure are rising to unacceptable levels. Why this happening? The fundamental reason is not inadequate security mechanisms of a particular gateway, but rather the underlying architecture of this and many other similar devices. First, there is insufficient isolation between components. Second, there is a large code base in security critical components, and the more code there is, the higher the likelihood of errors and vulnerabilities. Thus, breaching one component can lead to a cascading failure of the entire system. Now let's see what happens in the case of an attack through the cyber immune gateway. As we can see, the Linux-based gateway is now switched off, and we try to send the same malicious command. First, we see that the attacker's attempt fails. Then let's check the gateway's log file. As we can see, the unauthorized interaction is blocked at the operating system security policy level. So, in the case of the cyber immune gateway, while the attacker may potentially exploit this specific component vulnerability, spreading the attack further into critical components will be extremely challenging. The reasons for this include a well-designed architecture that considers the gateway security objectives and minimizes the attack surface on security-critical components, isolation of the component through the operating system microkernel, control of all interactions within the gateway at the operating system kernel level. In summary, using a gateway that is secure by design allows us to implement digital solutions while effectively mitigating associated cybersecurity risks. To learn more about the advantages of cyber immunity, please follow the link.